This video will cover spreadsheet-driven design. The Excel add-in allows you to drive your designs with an Excel spreadsheet. But first, the Excel add-in needs to be installed. The installation process varies between different versions of Microsoft Office. We'll be using the Microsoft Professional 2010 version for this video. To install, launch a Libre Design and Microsoft Excel. In Excel, under the File tab, click on Options. In the Excel Options dialog, select Add-ins. Make sure Excel Add-ins is shown in the Manage drop-down box and click Go. On the Add-ins dialog, select Browse. Browse to the installation directory and locate the file named Alibre Design Add-in .xla. Click the file name. Click OK. The Alibre Add-in appears in the Add-ins dialog box with a check mark next to it. Click OK. In Excel, a new item appears in the Excel Add-ins list. We'll use a gear as an example. Note, the spreadsheet must be saved before it can be used. The spreadsheet values can be simple numbers such as the number of teeth, or they can be actual equations such as tooth height in cell B22, which can be seen in the sketch as the 26 mm tooth height. When we edit this dimension and bring up the equation editor, we can see the equation for this value in the list. You can see that this equation links back to the Excel file. Here's an example walkthrough of the setup and linking process starting from scratch. A simple tubular part has been created to serve as the example part. This part has three dimensions, inside diameter, outside diameter, and length. In the equation editor, these dimensions are named D1, D2, and D3, respectively. Now we go over to the spreadsheet and set up the link to the sketch. First of all, a blank Excel spreadsheet is opened, named, and saved. In the interest of time, this spreadsheet has been opened, named, and saved with the parameter data already entered. Keep in mind that the cells with the values can only contain numbers. No other data can be in those cells. All that remains is to link the spreadsheet to the Libre part file. We won't need to add the Libre Design link to Excel again because we did that a few moments ago by adding the Libre Design add in during the gear example. Once this is done in Excel, every new spreadsheet you start will have the Libre Design add-in ready to go under the Excel Add-ins tab. In Excel, under the Add-ins tab, the down arrow next to a Libre Design add-in is clicked and Control Parameters is selected. The Control Parameters dialog appears. The part name is displayed in the Design field, and its dimensions appear in the Parameters table. Since the tube part file is the only part file currently active, the name of the part file is displayed in the session box. If more than one part file was active, you would select the desired file by clicking on Active Sessions and making a selection from the list. If there was more than one part configuration to choose from in the part file, the Configurations button could be clicked and a selection made from that list. Note, you can also create and name a new configuration in the Configurations dialog, as well as lock a selected configuration. We don't need to add or lock any configurations in this example, so we'll cancel out of this dialog. All of the dimensions are currently displayed. Click on the row you want to change. Click on the cell reference, then click on the corresponding cell in Excel, and click the Modify button. When the Equation Editor is opened, you can see that each equation relates to the Excel document location. Since the Excel document is linked to the Libre file, updating the Excel document will change the values in the Libre model. Here is an example of using the spreadsheet data to change a part in Libre Design. In Excel, the tube's outside diameter is changed to 4.5. Now go to Add Ins, Libre Design Add In, Control Parameters, and click Apply. This video covered spreadsheet driven design. The Excel add in allows you to drive your designs with an Excel spreadsheet, providing a means to apply the full computational power of Excel to a Libre design. 